hello guys what is going on welcome to another video in this video i'm going to show you how to design this cosmetics and beauty home flyer using corel draw 2020 and it's coming up subscribe and click on the bell so you won't miss any video before we begin this design if you're using any other version of corel draw you've got no problem all you have to do is to know the tools and know the placement of your tools and how you arrange your workspace and it's the same as corel draw 2020 just follow my steps and you will do it exactly as i did okay and i'll link up the vector file of this design down in the description so you can download it and customize it for your own design so let's move into corel draw the first thing i'm going to do is to set my size and i'm going to set my size to a5 because this is going to be an a5 flyer and it's going to be landscape just as you can see and the next thing i'm going to do is to double click on my rectangle tool to get this a5 shape here and right click here to take off the outline and the next thing you want to do is to give it a color and i have two colors here i'll be using for this design and all my resources the pictures and everything i'll be using to make this design is here and i'll give it this blue color here so i'll simply right click on the blue color and take it to the shape and leave once you leave it there you see this option then you can click on copy fill here when you click on copy fill here you are simply saying you want the color the blue color on this other shape to fill into this a5 shape and i'll click on copy fill here and it simply comes into the shape okay and the next thing i'm going to do is to click on the paint tool to create this curve just like this you click and drag Okay, it's very simple okay then I'm going to adjust my curve to suit my test how I need it okay it looks very cool like this okay and the next thing I'm going to do is to give it a white color just like this and I'll click and drag right click before you leave I'm simply duplicating the shape so i can have two shapes just as you can see okay and the next thing i'm going to do is to fill in this yellow color actually it's not yellow and you can see the percentage of the color yes seven percent cyan ten percent magenta 88 percent yellow and zero percent black so that's the combination of this color here it's like yellow and somewhat like gold okay then i'm going to fill this color on this other shape here copy fill here you can see it here then i'll press ctrl page down to send it to the back and it looks very cool okay then i'm going to adjust this like this all right i'm going to mirror this like this click on mirror horizontally because i want it to come this other way Okay. okay i'm okay with that and the next thing i'm going to do is to power clip this particular picture here power clip inside or you can simply right click on the picture and click on power clip inside here power clip inside and click on the shape then it goes inside the shape okay and i'm going to press alternate on the keyboard and click on the picture Pressing alternate on your keyboard before clicking on a picture that has been power clip simply means you want to edit the picture inside the power clip without going into the power clip, like without opening the shape. Okay, and that's what I just did here. Press alternate on the keyboard and edit the shape. Okay, and uh, you can open this up like this and adjust it this way. Then I click on the transparency tool and click on match mode then you select overlay and it becomes this then you click on uniform transparency so it blends into the background okay and that is exactly what i need and the next thing i'm going to type here is the name of the cosmetics and beauty home shop okay
okay and i'll be using this particular typeface folklore folklore okay that's the typeface i'll be using for this and i'm going to power clip this background here power clip inside and i'm going to edit it this way enlarge this and take it up i need this particular side which looks like this okay the down part of the background looks cool this way okay and i'm going to enlarge this again and give it an outline with this color and i'm going to adjust the outline to okay i think two points is okay and that's it then i'll bring this logo here it actually looks very cool this way okay and i'll type this also okay and click on text change case to upper case okay this looks very cool okay the next thing i will do is to create this particular shape where i will place all these pictures inside and i'll be using the ellipse tool to create this simply create a circle like this you can give it a color if you choose to then i'll do the same to this other side of the shape using my rectangle tool i can draw like this and bring it to where i will get the midpoint okay then select click on the rectangle press sheet and select the first shape click on trim do the same to the other and trim and that's done then you can simply duplicate this again and mirror it bring it down okay up until the space between the shapes are evenly the same okay and next i'm going to do is to create another circle here and select all these shapes and press ctrl g then click on the circle at the center press shift and select the grouped circle press c and e by pressing c and e you simply align the circle to the center of this other circle so it fits this very well okay then i'm going to trim off this circle like this click on the circle press shift and click on the other circle then you click on trim and you can see how it looks like then reduce this other circle like this and give it this color and this is what we have finally created and this is where i'm going to place all these pictures first i'm going to power clip this here then you can ungroup these other circles and adjust like this all right it looks cool and i'm going to okay i need to rotate this like this all right it looks cool this way okay and i'm going to power clip the remaining pictures power clip this here and i'll power clip this here and do the same here then i'm going to adjust all the pictures i have power clipped inside here The simple method I'm using to adjust these pictures is by pressing alternate on my keyboard before clicking on the pictures inside the power clip so I can simply select the pictures inside the power clip and that is what I'm doing here. Ok, 
okay i think it's okay then i need to fill this shape with this color so it fits the picture very well okay okay it looks cool now you can see the transparency between these pictures i've already done that already i already transparent the two sides of the pictures and the two sides of this other picture and that is why the pictures blend very well with the background color so i'm going to group this shape and bring it to the design just like this then i can adjust this name so I, i'll have enough space to place this here and i'm going to right click on this color to give it an outline then i make it uh two point piece. okay yeah two point then i'll adjust this again okay i feel this is okay then i'm going to power clip this picture here Sorry, I have to power clip these shapes before then. I'm simply sending these shapes inside the shape. Power clip this and place this picture here. Alright, it looks very cool. Then I'm going to power clip this other picture also. And you can see how it looks like it's because this picture is inside the power clip while the pictures inside the shape are on top of the design so i'm going to send the pictures also inside the power clip and someone asks why i like power clipping my pictures that's because i like all my pictures shapes and every other stuff to be inside the power clip and i like only my text to be on top of my designs so when i design i won't shift the pictures easily or shift my shapes easily that's why i like sending my shapes and pictures inside the power clip while my text on top of the design and that's the simple trick why i do it that way i'm going to adjust this i can simply take this up a little okay it looks cool okay i'll adjust this picture Alright, it looks so cool. Then I'm going to bring in every other writer which I already typed and arranged it here. Just like this. And I'll bring this here. And this here. And the next thing I will do is to arrange this here. Here I should adjust this again. Okay, I'll delete this off. I'll take this up a little. Okay, I'm going to give this some shadows just like this. Presets, and I'll make it perspective bottom left so i can put the shadow on the bottom of these shapes and i'll adjust this and it looks cool it looks very cool um, i think this brings us to the end of this design 
so this is what we got finally this is what we arrived at if you love this design give it a thumbs up by liking and sharing it okay and thank you so much for watching this video i will see you in the next video